Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Elise Lightyear, and today we are going to the grocery store. But I'm not just going to any supermarket. I am going to the best international supermarket in all of Beijing. I actually don't even need any groceries, but let's go see what kind of imported goods they've got. Let's go see if I can get some food to curb my homesicknessness. And let's go check out them international prices. This is Jenny Wong Supermarket. It's an international supermarket that has several locations in Beijing and has been around since the 1980s. For the most part, the produce section is pretty much the same as a Chinese grocery store. It's just a lot more expensive. Look how small that is. A lot of the produce here is organic. Organic milk Chinese cabbage. Organic sweet potato. Organic carrot. Organic broccoli. But basically all of the vegetables are the same. Just sometimes I can find things that are a little bit more difficult to find in a Chinese grocery store, like Brussels sprouts. Is this an artichoke? Okay, I don't think I've ever seen an artichoke in China. Of course, because I'm still in China, there's still a lot of produce that have no idea what it is. Like this. What is this? <laughs> What's this? What are these? What is this thing? Is this some type of onion? Or like a bamboo shoot, maybe? The alcohol section is out of this world. It's amazing. And I love it. This is probably the biggest selection of imported alcohol in all of Beijing. It's, it's amazing. They've even got a fancy wine cellar with really expensive bottles in there. So this international supermarket isn't as big as Walmart, the Chinese grocery store that I went to in my last video, but I'd say the selection is just as expansive. Hello. Hello. Lamb, lamb legs. Oh, lamb leg. Yes. Oh, it's very fresh. Yeah, it's ribs. Ribs, wow. It's very good, beautiful. They look very good. It's fresh. So as you can see, even in the international supermarket, some of the meat is just out. Isn't that the little girl from Monsters, Inc.? <laughs> so random. And then, look, we got all the hot dogs and things. All of your cured meats that they will slice for you. All of these signs are in English. Why does that one just say toast? I don't know. And the fish section is pretty much exactly a traditional Chinese supermarket. You can get this fish. You can get crabs, get these fish that already look like they're dead. Are you guys alive? Okay, that one's waving at me, so he's alive. You can get whatever this thing is. I don't know what that is, but it's available for purchase. They got all of the fish laid out with their guts hanging out. And I have the exact same concern that someone is gonna come up here and touch and grab and throw around all of this seafood. I honestly came here just to make this video and there really isn't that much that I need to buy. 
So whatever I buy is just because it's spur of the moment and I want it and the price is good. We have made it to the snack aisle. Let me show you all of the incredible international snacks that they have here. So many different types of Pringles. The interesting thing about international stores is that they'll have the Western version and the Chinese version. These original Pringles from America are $16.90. And these Chinese Pringles are $8.50. Interesting. They probably taste different though. Do I feel like I'm shopping in America? No, because all the signs are still in Chinese and there's a lot more Chinese products than there are Western products. And it's also a lot more expensive then I remember America being, but oh my God, I love coming here just for the comforts of home. See, the instant noodle section just isn't as big as it is in a Chinese supermarket. Look at all of the cheese. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't love cheese? Caviar from Sweden. Just like America, they have pre-made pizza. Yes, the supermarket has a lot of things, but it also doesn't have a lot of things. I mean, when we compare it to a Walmart, a Kroger, a Meyer, it's almost incomparable. Why? Because it's in China, which is fine. But the fact that I live in China and I have access to all of these incredible international foods that remind me of home is amazing. And a massive reason why I chose to live in an international city like Beijing, because I can get so many comforts at home. Okay, potato waffles from Iceland. So one thing that I love about this grocery store are all of the plant-based meats. You can get the Beyond Beef ground beef, like this plant-based chicken ring. Durian mango crispy milk. This could be delicious or it could be disgusting. One reason I just don't come to the supermarket that often is because I spend so much money. So, so, so much money and get too much alcohol. The frozen food section is undisputed. I mean, you can even get a cheesecake. And puff pastry sheets, hash browns. What's this? Oh yeah, roti. I mean, the ice cream section here is incredible. I refuse to pay like $16 for a quart and a half of ice cream. Something that I have never ever seen in a Chinese supermarket. Tortellini and ravioli. Similar to any Chinese supermarket, lots of preserved meat. This one looks like a slice of pie, but we know that this ain't pie. So in my cart, there's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> I've got wine, I've got vodka, I've got two bottles of rosé, I got yogurt, I have basil, I have pizza balza, coconut water, tomato paste, chicken broth, and tortilla chips. So I've pretty much got everything that I want to buy. I mean, I could spend so much money in this grocery store and so much time in this grocery store. But uh, let's go check out and see what my total is. Yeah. 
Hey, my taxi is here. Let me not get hit by all of these cars. I am headed home with my bag of groceries. I definitely spent way more money than I wanted to, but that's what always happens when I go to the international grocery store. But for 410 yuan, which includes three bottles of wine and a bottle of vodka, and then the various food items that I got, I don't think it was that bad of a deal. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the prices. Was it too much money? Is it comparable to where you live? So as always, if you like this video, give me that big old thumbs up. Send me some love in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I will see you soon. Elise Lightyear, over 